Hello and welcome my friend and today I am planning to show you that how works this Toyota Corolla cars front passenger side airbag and here I have one excellent example there is dashboard from Toyota Corolla car and this part is now this airbag what has been bang like it is like fired and there has been happened crash and there is left this airbag element and here we have this car's dashboard and let's go to look that area because there is this front airbag and now in this passenger side in here and this is driver's side in here and now you will also see that how this airbag is possible to replace and let's go to look that area next okay and there is really this front passenger airbag and we can see in there this code what normally when we have ready this package that SR S airbag logo is in here and also we can see that when we have happened this airbag launch this area becomes up in that way and when we look in this yeah. down area here we can see this really interesting airbag and now I have already take this three this 10 millimeter nuts away first one in here and in this down area there is also two of these positions in here is first one and second in here and in these positions this airbag this has been installed look there are those holes and actually this metallic holes they goes in these these bolts in here in that way this is this normal way and first one in here and I have take out these nuts in here okay and now when we look this airbag firstly there is this yellow cable line what is just specific for this airbag in Toyota cars that there is four of these cables two red and two yellows and this part becomes in this airbag computer cables and when we look that closer this airbag we can see that there are those interesting these ropes these white cables in here and there is really this interesting white ropes in here in both sides one in here and in that another area also similar and now I cut these cables and this ropes purpose is that when the when this airbag launch then it keeps this part in position and let's look at firstly this up area a little bit more okay and really when accident happens this part becomes up and in this area this airbag back becomes in here and we can see these ropes they keep like this upper part in specific position this is like steel and there is like small ready pre-cut in here what goes in these holes and we can actually maybe install this part back if we do very very accurate job job of course there is some scratch and these bad things but, but anyway this is this airbag area and this airbag becomes in here for passenger and 
normally it's like hidden in this way and then we can look this down area when I cut these ropes. Okay, and now I cut these ropes in here, first one in that area and second in here in that way and now this third pack now this part is free and we can look also in that area there's really steel plate in this area and this is like in here and then we can look closer this air pack element in here Okay, and this air pack when we rotate that in another direction we can see in here there are those warning messages and in here we can see that this bullet here is actually this element what was this inside material is material what generates smoke and play smoke smoke and pressure and there is this is actually quite hot when this part explodes this this air pack this start element and this is really there becomes a lot of this white smoke and this is really hot when air pack explodes and let's look that can we see in here this product code this is this outer element and now when I check yes there are those there are those text and I believe that this this is this product code in here or maybe in this some upper area but I can't see any any other markings in here and this is really this material what is like uh, this is quite elastic but this is not totally plastic okay some kind of cloth or cotton hard cotton okay okay this kind of information to you and here is also some product code but interesting thing and this was really back and this is possible to replace